Hey everyone, Eric here with a review on the Campark 4K action camera, waterproof with remote, has all kinds of different accessories, and um, we're gonna put it to the test, and we're gonna compare it with a GoPro Hero 4, I believe this is a silver edition, and uh, put them side by side, we'll go underwater, in the air, and just different lighting situations to really show you, um, you know, if you want to buy a GoPro or if you want to buy maybe a less expensive action camera or if you just want a backup camera. And if you guys do like this one, I included a link in the description down below where you can find one. All right, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. If you want to go straight to the footage comparison with the GoPro, you can go right here. What's really nice is it comes with this carrying case. I actually had to buy this separately for, for my uh, GoPro. I bought this just because there's so many different accessories that can uh, that you can take with you depending on what situation you're using your GoPro in. All right, so here we go. Here is the camera compared side by side with the GoPro. Take that lens cover off. It feels the case feels really tight. It feels just like the GoPro case. As far as the the width. Pretty much the same, but the uh, you can see the thickness, it's a little bit thicker, and the, the front is pretty much the same size. All right, and then you have all different kinds of accessories. Just from playing with it so far, it seems like a really high quality camera, so let's go ahead and put this to the test and uh, see how it compares. For the underwater shots, I filmed in 4K on both cameras. I realized later on that the GoPro Hero 4 Silver only records at 15 frames per second, and that's why it doesn't look as smooth as some of the other footage. Now, the black version of the GoPro, which doesn't have the rear screen, will actually record at 30 frames per second in 4K. And the Camp Arc is recording at 25 frames per second. And if you have a 4K resolution screen, I included a link in the description where you can find the footage uploaded in 4K. I didn't make this entire video in 4K because I would have had to have stretched all my 1080p video. I was only able to take this camera down to a depth of about 8 feet, but I will be doing some free diving in the ocean to see how it handles in deeper water. So make sure to subscribe so you can check out the footage when I upload it. The colored manual is easy to understand and it has helpful pictures that show the various ways to mount your camera with all of the different accessories that this kit includes. And if you don't need all the extra accessories, I included a link where you can get just the camera, the case, and a couple batteries for about 20 bucks less. Now the GoPro is noticeably better when you have a shadow with a bright background. The cam park lacks detail in some situations. This screenshot is a good example of a bright background with a highly detailed dark foreground. And as you'll see in a lot of the video, the cam park does add a lot of saturation and sharpness to the video automatically. You can see how the grass is really, really green and sometimes the sky is like super blue. If you don't like touching up your video in post-production, then this could be a good thing for you. But if you're like me and prefer to have more control when editing, then this can be a slight problem. To connect your phone to your camera, just download the Easy iCam app. Click the side button on your camera and click the Add Devices button and your phone will connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. It does come with a decent looking 2 inch LCD screen, which is not touch screen like the GoPro, but it does help a lot when you're setting up a shot or deleting footage on the go. Overall, you're getting good video and photo quality for the price, and you get tons of accessories to attach this camera almost anywhere. I think this makes a great backup camera to get extra angles when filming or when the shot is just too risky for your $400 GoPro. And if you own a GoPro, you know that your friends always want to borrow it. So now I'll just slip them my Camp Park camera and not have to worry that much that they'll take it underwater without the case on. If you're in the market for a very affordable action camera, I hope you found this video helpful. And while the quality is not up there with a the GoPro, it costs four times less. And it does pack in a ton of value for everything that you're getting. The two included batteries are 1050 milliamp hour LiPos and I found my camera lasting about 60 minutes. If you do have any questions about this camera, please just leave them in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe to keep up to date with my future reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.